Hey there, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the Observer Software Design Pattern, also known as the Publish, Subscribe, or Delegation Event Model Software Design Pattern. So here's the problem that the Observer Pattern attempts to address. So, problem is you have different kinds of subscriber objects that are interested in the state changes or events of a publisher object and want to react in their own unique way when the publisher generates an event. Moreover, the publisher wants to maintain low coupling to the subscribers. What to do? Solution? To find a subscriber or listener interface, subscribers implement this interface. The publisher can dynamically register subscribers who are interested in an event and notify them when an event occurs. Okay, let's take a look at a UML diagram for a simple example of the observer pattern. You'll see that there are four classes here. Publisher class, a listener interface class, and two separate classes that are implementing the listener interface, listener A and listener B. Publisher class contains three methods, add listener, publish event, do something as well as a container for storing a list of listeners. So the add listener method is the method that any object that wants to be notified of events by the publisher is going to use to subscribe to the publisher. They'll do that by invoking the add listener method and passing a reference to themselves to be stored in the list of listeners. The publish event method is the method that is going to be responsible for notifying the listeners that something has happened. And the do something method is the method that is going to trigger the notification. When it's evoked, it in turn is going to invoke the publish event method which in turn is going to invoke the on event methods of each of the subscribed listeners. Okay, and the listener interface is an abstract class with an abstract on event method that any object that wants to be a listener will have to override. And due to polymorphism, each one of those listener objects will be able to implement the on event method in their own unique way and therefore having the ability to respond to the event sent by the publisher object, again, in their own unique way. Now, listener A and listener B, two separate classes, two separate types of objects, but they're both implementing the listener interface. And because of that, they both is a listener, and so they both can subscribe to the same publisher object whose list will treat them as if they were the same object, even though they were different objects. All right, so let's go ahead and look at some code to see how this is gonna work. The first class that I implemented was the listener class. So in this case, I have to make an abstract base class with a pure virtual method named onEvent. Any object that wishes to subscribe to the publisher object will be required to, to implement this class. Any object which wishes to receive notifications from the publisher object will need to implement this interface. Now let's take a look at class publisher. You'll notice that class publisher has a vector attribute. The vector is used to store pointers to the different listener objects which have subscribed to the publisher object. The listener objects subscribe to the object by invoking the publisher object's add listener method, passing their memory address or as an argument. And the add listener method merely adds that pointer to the vector. In this way, a list of listener objects are maintained by the publisher object. The publish event method merely contains a for loop for iterating over the vector 
invoking the on event method for each of the listeners whose memory address is stored in the vector. Finally, the do something method sends notification to all of the listeners. So for this simple publisher object, all we're gonna do is inform the listeners that something's happened by passing them a string literal. We're just gonna say hello. Okay, so now I've implemented the two listener classes. One class for each listener object. There's gonna be two different types of objects here, but both of them have implemented the listener interface. They're both subclasses of the listener abstract base class. And as such, they've overridden the inherited pure virtual on event function, which will allow them each to respond in their own way to the event notification that's being sent to them. Also notice that in their constructor, the two objects have received a publisher reference. This is so they can notify the publisher object that they want to be added to the listener's list. Okay, so let's see how this works. Inside my main function, I've created a publisher object, call it P, and I've created two listener objects using dynamic memory allocation, and I pass each one of those objects P, and their constructors will in turn add themselves as a listener to the publisher object. And then when we invoke the do something method on the publisher object, the publisher object is going to invoke its notify method, which is in turn going to invoke the on event methods of each of the listeners. So as a result, when we run this program, we should see two lines of output, one being the result or coming from listener A and the other coming from listener B. So let's compile and run. Okay, so here we can see that each of the listener objects received the event notification and displayed the appropriate response customized to each of the objects even though each one of the objects is of a different type. This is able to work by polymorphism. So that brings this brief discussion to a close. I hope that you found this video useful. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to stop by my office hours or shoot me an email if you're one of my students. Otherwise, if you're just checking out this video on my YouTube channel, really appreciate, really appreciate hitting that subscribe button and a thumbs up really helps out the video and the channel and helps the video to get seen by more people who might also uh, find it useful. All right, well, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.